In a powerful display of Filipino innovation and strategic foresight, the Philippine Navy and the Department of National Defense just showcased something that could redefine maritime warfare in the region. At the inaugural Self-Reliant Defense Posture Summit, held in Pase City, the spotlight turned to a weapon that looks like similar to the ones that were deployed by Ukraine against Russia. Introducing the Philippine Autonomous Littoral Interdiction Drone, or PALET, a suicide drone boat. Designed by Filipino engineers from Mindanao State University. Developed by the bright minds of MSU, the PALET USV is not just another prototype. This drone boat is designed for asymmetric warfare, the kind of strategy that gives smaller or less equipped nations the ability to challenge superior naval forces. Its key strength? It looks like an ordinary banka, blending in perfectly with civilian vessels, making it virtually undetectable until it's too late that IT can stay at sea for 48 hours without refueling, powered by a hybrid of gasoline and battery. Systems. That's long enough to patrol or wait for a target deep within our exclusive economic zone. The pallet is more than just stealthy, it's deadly. It's designed to carry a 150-kilogram unguided bomb, a payload strong enough to disable or even sink a warship. This makes it ideal for neutralizing larger, more advanced enemy vessels. Through suicide missions, similar to how Ukraine's drone boats are targeting Russian ships in the Black Sea, with its relatively low cost and powerful impact, the pallet could be a game-changer for the Philippine Navy, especially in defending our contested waters in the West Philippine Sea. But the pallet isn't just a bomb on a boat. It's a smart system. Thanks to the integration of Starlink satellite internet, it has unlimited communication range, which means real-time control and live surveillance feeds, even far from shore. With a displacement of 650 kilos and a 120-liter fuel tank, the vessel is optimized for both speed and endurance. And in case fuel runs low, its battery system keeps it operational for extended missions. Imagine deploying a fleet of these drone boats. Silent, undetectable, and devastating as an early warning line or strike force in the open sea. If adopted under the SRDP program, these locally made drone boats could complement existing naval platforms like the Jose Rizal class frigates or offshore patrol vessels. They would act as force multipliers, extending the Philippine Navy's reach and increasing its firepower, all at a fraction of the cost of traditional warships. This is especially crucial in a modern battlefield where unmanned systems are fast becoming the first wave of offense or defense. For an archipelagic nation, like the Philippines, that edge could make the difference between deterrence and defeat. Thanks to the revitalized self-reliant defense posture law signed by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. last year, the local defense industry is finally being prioritized. The law empowers institutions like MSU and other tech centers to develop indigenous military technologies and, more importantly, get them funded and adopted by the armed forces. Secretary Jibo Teodoro has stated clearly, drone capabilities will be prioritized under this framework. That includes both aerial drones and unmanned surface vehicles like the pallet. The pallet is just the beginning. With the SRDP in motion, the Philippines will soon be producing its own high-powered drones, surveillance equipment, and automated defense systems that it's a shift from dependency to independence, from buying to building. And it signals a new era for Filipino defense, one built on innovation, national pride, and self-sufficiency. The Pallet USV, a small boat with big impact. It's a clear message to the world that the Philippines is ready to defend itself, not just with imported firepower, but with homegrown technology and Filipino brilliance. What do you think about this indigenous suicide drone boat? Is this the future of naval warfare for the Philippines? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more defense and modernization updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.